I've ever seen anything like this this heat this time of year in the state of Washington we're just one day away from modern firearm uh, deer I'm on the west side um, 86 in the shade and it's late late afternoon it was 92 or 93 in the Sun showing on showing on my car that's hot I've already had a bunch of water. He's had a bunch of water, but uh, I thought this is a good opportunity to show you houndsmen what I picked up at a show. I'm not sponsored uh, by these guys. I just think it is cool equipment, regardless of whether Wyatt and I are uh, training for search and rescue. We're out here doing trail cameras, which is uh, absolutely the favorite. But this is a rotocast. Come on, buddy, let's show them. This is this is why it's water bin. It's a, a rotocast um, plastic. It's made by Dakota. It's called uh, it says Dash 3.5, the Dakota 283, and it's got a couple of these plugs. So you fill it up with water. It holds like maybe three gallons, something like that. Come here, buddy. And uh, the greatest part about it is you just keep it in your truck. Pop that one out. And then you can see the water flows out. Lay it down. Are you thirsty? You ought to be thirsty, boy. Come here. Come here. Oh, there you go. And then obviously he drinks. <laughs> I know. I don't think he could get enough water today. I really don't. I look at come here, boy. Come here, big boy. Look at that. And so then. When you're all done, this is what's great about this thing. You know, I could have done it slower and kept all the water, but we don't need to keep all the water. Plug it up, woo, and we're done. That's that. Isn't that cool? Big boy, you like that? Of course you do. You got some smells going on over there, huh? Okay, so most sportsmen are gear guy. Sports men, sports women, sports people, they're gear people. Come on. Especially if you're a dog person. Uh, especially. You gotta have all the right stuff for them and for you. And so I, I just thought I'd take a second and show you that because that is cool. Um, I don't always bring enough water for me, always bring enough for the big boy. So today was pretty cool. Um, we got back down into the first wallow and it looks like it's been torn up um, a little bit. So I imagine the elk have been playing in there. Um, it's also an area where um, uh, that I've got that bare scent tree, that rubbing tree. So um, they were really rubbing on it. The boars were rubbing on it in the rut. I don't know if they are now or not. Um, they've come through a couple times, but we'll see. I also um, put some uh, a salt lick down there off to the side. I put a salt lick um, in another area too where I got a couple of really nice bucks that have been coming in. So hopefully we can get them to stick around in front of the camera. I don't usually bait. Occasionally I'll throw an apple or something. Um, it just ends up with way too many pictures and way too many files and I have a tendency to want to put the cameras in areas that are scenic and they're going through anyway. Um, sometimes it's it's a good idea to keep them around and I was thinking around this wallow and this other area it might be good so went ahead and tried it um, and we'll see so uh, the wallow that I picked up um, I think it's been soaking let's see here okay it's been soaking for three weeks and there are one two three there's four cameras around it so that's another thing 
you know, when you're getting into trail cameras, you want to do one here and one, one there, and you, and you want to have all these, you know, areas covered, but trail cameras, they don't always work. They're a lot better now than they were 10 and 12 years ago, way better. And God, I was doing the, the trip lines and everything before that. We're, we're so far advanced, but um, there's a human error too. I don't know how many times I've left it on the set mode, or turned it off, uh, batteries go out, um, one gets chewed up by an elk, uh, torn off by a bear. So if you can, in a general area that is a hot spot, that you really want good videos, put two up, put three up, put four up. I got five up in some of these. They're all different angles, but I'm looking for something a little more, I'm looking for, um, good video of wildlife doing cool stuff so I can bring it to you. So, um, and right now I'm building my uh, bank. I have, I think 35 good functioning cameras in the field right now. They're all on video mode. They're in the better video mode. Um, some of the best uh, cameras that I could buy online uh, for highest resolution video and you know, uh, today, uh, 10 cards. Let's say I got 10 cards. There might be, uh, I might have 50 videos on there. If I had bait in front of every one of their, those, there'd be 500 to 1,000. 10 years ago, when I was putting uh, salt in front of every single camera, I'd be disappointed if I didn't have 1,700 or 2,000 pictures. And the only thing good about that is you can take those individual pictures and you can you can um, put them on, uh, you can edit them on a uh, media program that you can run them really fast, like a video, like just like a video, and then you can watch them, watch them, oh, there's a good one, file manipulation, you pull it off this side, uh, picture, 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 and all of a sudden they all come up and they start boxing, oh, take those, take those, uh, nothing, it turns dark, a cougar comes through, oh, slide that over, and then you just work with the ones that are cool and you dump the other 1,000, 1,500 that are just da, 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 the same thing. So anyway, you'll get really good at file manipulation when you start uh, multiple cameras and lots of bait. Um, so anyway, that's just a couple of tips I thought I'd throw out there and uh, give both of us a chance to rest after pulling those cards in the heat. So we're out of here. Thank you again for subscribing to Trail Camera Adventures. If you haven't, please push that button and subscribe and help, it helps our channel. We've had great growth, but I'd like to see it go uh, even further. And once you do that, it doesn't cost anything. Once you do that, um, when you go back into YouTube, you get notifications that there's something new on there. And hopefully Wyatt and I are bringing you something uh, new every week. There's 62, 65 videos on there now. You may not know that. Um, some of them go back 10, 12 years when I was working with a very archaic editing program. And there's cool stuff that you should go back and see if you haven't seen. I got, I got, I got pictures of six white elk and all my friends on the mountain. Nobody's ever seen a white elk. I haven't even seen them live in person on the mountain. Um, but I've got pictures of six of, six of them when they're calves. I think the predators take them out uh, before they grow up. And maybe that's not why, maybe that's why we don't see them anymore. But uh, it's cool. Go back and look. I've got one on there that it's called the little white elk. It's awesome. It's really cool looking at that. It kind of looks like a goat. And it's all the, the whole herd just is kind of accepted in. It's popping around a little white elk. So take a look at that. Thanks again for watching Trail Camera Adventures. I should have at the end of this a couple of other suggested ones. Click in that, keep clicking, keep watching. You're gonna find something that's absolutely amazing in there. Thanks again.